Good evening to you. My name is Jesse R. Johnson. I would like to show you something very odd. Up above me is the sun. Bright and beautiful, ain't it? This is the sun. Now, I'm going to turn my back on the sun. Turn my back on the sun, straight from it, and right between, right between here is the moon. Right between there is the moon. I can't even see it on this camera. It's not so clear on this camera, but nonetheless, the moon is up inside of here, right up inside here. And I'm going to turn the camera toward the ground. Turn it toward the ground. Now, what you see is that this folder, this one here, right there, this one here, is equal to my shadow as a straight line. You see it? Through my shadow's head is a straight line. The one next to it, right here, this one here, is pointing exactly toward the moon, such as this, toward the moon. Hold on. I'm going to point my camera toward the moon. Right up in here. The moon is very light blue. Very light blue right now. Right up in this bow. Right up in this bow right here. It's blue. You're probably very hard to see it right now because it is light blue, but it's there. And the thing is this. If you look at the angle of the papers, of the, of the, of the envelopes, you'll see they make about, oh, a 15 degree angle. So that means 15 from 80 equals, what is that? 15 from 80 equals 65. That means that if I turn my camera 165 degrees all the way around, I will have it pointing toward the sun. So the thing is this. How is it that the moon is half moon on the top? It's half moon on its top and black, so to speak, on its bottom here. How is that possible when the sun, the sun and the moon are facing each other with only a 15 to 15 degree difference from their complete facing, which would be almost inconsequential to not have the sun completely shine its light on the face itself of the moon. How is that possible? It is not. It means that the sun would have to be directly on top of the moon, directly on top of it, and no light would be able to get under the bottom because the sun would be in the other part of the sky up here shining downward on top. But it is not. It is 165 to 170 degrees in front of it and not giving it a full moon facing, a full moon, a full facing moon, all lit up. Which means that, how is that possible that the moon is not lit up under its bottom, wait a minute, let me make certain I got it, under its bottom, but only lit up on its top when the sun would have to be on top of it here, and nothing on the bottom. Do you get, get what I'm saying on this matter? Most people will say, well, the sun is above it, but back of you. That's correct. The sun is behind me because of my shadow. Behind me. Because my shadow is pointing forward like that. It's behind me. It might be up above me, of course, but it is behind me. And the moon is in front of me. And the moon and the sun are virtually no more higher 
than each other in their respective positions at this moment, even if you think the earth is supposedly turning. It does not explain how the moon can be a half moon in the sense of a dark bottom and a lit up top at the same time. What in fact most what most likely not what most likely is the case is simple enough is that the moon has its own internal light internally lit somehow the moon is not what it appears and I want to thank everyone for watching and listening oh yes it is at this moment 930 a.m. in the morning, 9.30 a.m. in the morning, on a clear day, clear sky, in, this is uh, Pacific Daylight Time, in Berkeley, California. Berkeley, California. Now, I would like to thank everyone for that time, and to have a good day. <laughs>